you can see how low this is something i love about this we have the monoblock rims they stripped off the entire vehicle we have no door handles on that one we just have this latch here let me just pull it for you and then we can open up the door pull it up and then you start the ignition put that up and start the engine the touchpad for example which doesn't even make any sense or these displays because the car is equipped with analog dials starting from slow going up to fast ablo virgil ablo and wagner for gordon wagner how do you guys like the interior i expected something completely different hello guys i am back welcoming you all with this today i will be presenting you the one of one mercedes-benz project geländewagen an artwork made in collaboration with virgil abloh and gordon wagner as you can already see we are here at the mercedes-benz kunden center in sindelfingen i'm also very sorry for the bad audio because we have to wear masks inside the kunden center therefore i hope you still enjoy this video and in today's video i will be doing a full walk around showing you all the cool features of this beautiful masterpiece and last but not least show you the interior and finish it all off with a resume so let me talk about this car in specific here we have an artwork this is not a normal car it's also not a limited edition or else there's a one-of-one -one piece made in cooperation with mercedes-benz designer gordon wagner and virgil ablo one of the most known creative directors you also know him from off-white or from louis vuitton this guy does amazing work and they sat down together and thought about redesigning the g-wagon and here we have the result of this let's just start with the walk around starting with the front as you can see just look at this guys we have a very very low sitting g-class with a wider front bumper also the exterior paint is actually not a paint is looking so crazy guys very unique artwork here let's just focus on the headlights basically there are no headlights anymore they just repainted it then put an x just covered them here with the front we have the so-called panamericana grill also fully covered in paint the mercedes-benz star even the front camera as well talking about the bonnet you can see the mercedes-benz star also covered in the same exterior paint giving this car a very very crazy look continuing now with the side of this beast you can see how low this is mercedes-benz virgil ablo and gordon wagner decided to lower the car and put some racing tires on it so i'm continuing here we have some crazy looking and big racing tires here which is so weird to put them on a g-class i mean this is not a racing car it's also not a racing car on purpose or else but still they decide to put that on i mean in the end of the day it is an artwork and this is just a way of expressing art is very very crazy something i love about this we have the monoblock rims guys i'm in love with these if any car has them it just looks 10 times better in my eyes i really love the way these look as you can see the huge racing tires, Mercedes-Benz, Geländewagen. On the side, you can also see they totally stripped off any unnecessary part. No wipers, as you can see, no door handles. Also for the rear, no door handles. Looking very, very crazy. Down here, you can see the side exhaust pipes also finished in baby blue, which gives this car a very, very unique touch. And you can see this instead of the door handles, we have this latch. If you pull it, you can open up the door. Also, we have no windows. I guess for weight reduction, we have these, which we also know from the GT3 DTM cars crazy guys this is crazy in the rear again monoblock wheels the racing tires geländewagen mercedes-benz lovely talking about the rear iconic g look we have the spare tire as you see which we always know from the g again with the monoblock and the racing tires this is crazy guys also the rear lights fully covered in paint this is crazy yet again in the rear if you want to open it up you pull that latch and then you can open up the trunk space and as you can see they stripped off the entire vehicle there is no rear seats we have no parts 
no unnecessary parts which you can also see here this is pure that's so crazy even the interior i mean the parts in the interior also painted and redone refined we have the roll cage as you can see it's full finished in baby blue again also with the mercedes-benz star over there giving this car a very very cool touch also you can look in the inside of this there's nothing you don't need yet again they stripped off every single thing let's just close it back in and now it's time to step inside the interior of this which is even more crazier than the exterior guys again as i told you we have no door handles on that one we just have this latch here let me just pull it for you and then we can open up the door just look at this so now it's time to concentrate on the interior unfortunately we can't have a seat inside still displayed here they don't allow us but still i will be showing you every single thing from outside the car let's just focus on what should we focus on let's just talk about the steering wheel guys this maybe you know it let's see if anyone will know before i tell you this is the steering wheel which amg put on the amg one project car as well i guess in the future we'll also have this steering wheel in the amg one vehicles as you see with the touchpad we also know from the old old mercedes steering wheels we have these racing buttons the rev counter here with them like we also have the touchpad for example which doesn't even make any sense of these displays because the car is equipped with analog dials talking about the analog dials as you can see here we have the speedo you see starting from slow going up to fast this is crazy the rev counter as you can also see starting from three to 12 up which is very very unique we have the oil pressure as well on that side and all finished in an analog way of doing it on the right hand side oil temperature water temperature and boost in the center console here again the fuel the fuel pressure differential pressure crazy guys and just look at these we have these crazy looking buttons which we know from like airplanes you see that it feels so cool to touch for the lights horn water fuel and the cooler over here to start up the car you first put it up and then you start the ignition on the right hand side again you put that up and start the engine which is super super cool guys this is very very interesting and if you want to start the car up you have this button here you just press that which is so cool i love the way this artwork looks we even have fire extinguisher over here and let's just focus on the seats we have some crazy looking sports seats here some racing seats but the point is they go in very widely like you can lay inside these you see you won't be having a good position even if you want to drive the car because you're laying in the back we have these racing seat belts Ablo, Virgil Ablo and Wagner for Gordon Wagner four pointed seat belts here full finished in red also on top over here we have these again for boost ejection and for the 4x4 mode they look very very cool and very interesting yet again over here Mercedes stitching you can see the seats are full finished in carbon fiber for weight reduction obviously the leather trim same color as we have with the exterior paint how do you guys like the interior just leave it in the comment section below even the rolling cage over here full finished in baby blue we have the gas and brake pedals the gas finished in blue the brake finished in red very very nice detail so that's it basically for the interior how do you guys like it just leave it in the comment section below and that's it basically for this car let's just close it there we go and start with the resume so that's it basically for today's video i hope you all enjoyed watching guys how do you guys like this masterpiece this artwork done by virgil Abloh and gordon wagner just leave it in the comment section below to be honest just to give my honest opinion regarding this collaboration i expected something completely different but in the end they did an g-class race edition they lowered it they put racing tires on it give it a very cool touches in the interior and exterior but i expected something way cooler my expectations were definitely way too high when thinking about the cooperation between words Lavo and gordon wagner working on such an iconic car but at the end of the day they're still very cool there's one scale model of this on an auction they're selling it so i guess this car won't be sold anywhere they are just going to display it in the museum soon do not forget to subscribe this channel looking forward to see you all again and wish you all a great day i will be back